hello everyone welcome back to the channel so we are back again with a new video now this time i'm going to show you that how we can watermark in python on an image it means that how we can put a watermark means a text in our image okay so for doing that we have to use a library that is called as pillow that is stands for pill python imaging library so from this library pill i'm going to import three modules that is first one is the image which will be used in opening and saving purpose of the image then image draw this will be used to draw text or shapes on an image then there is image font which is used to provide the font okay the font size and what type of font you want to use so we are going to use these three modules present in the, our pillow library okay now for uh, printing the watermark in our image i have created a function okay that function name is add watermark add underscore watermark that is taking three parameters first the input path of the image that where the image is then the output part of the image okay what will be the output path and the name of the file and then what will be the watermark watermark test which we are going to put we want to put in our image okay so this is our function defining part now let's come inside the function here we are first opening our image so for that i have used the open method present in this image module and i have given i have put this image input path okay input underscore image underscore path over here then i'm converting this image into rgba format now what is this rgba format so this rgba format is red green blue alpha where alpha controls the transparency okay so whenever we have to put the watermark on our image so we have to convert it we, need, we will need one extra parameter that is the alpha that is the transparency because we have to convert it into a transparent okay and then we can put some text over there and then we can combine it so this process is followed whenever you are going to put a text in your image so now in the next line what we are doing in the next line we are creating a new uh, new layer okay on our image and that new layer is of which type is of rgba mode size will be as original size okay and then the text the color specified will be fully transparent white where zero is the alpha value at the zero you can see at the end that is the alpha value so it is a fully transparent white then we are specifying the font in the third line we are specifying the font that and for that we are using a method present in our image font module that is true type okay and we are taking a arial font okay with a 40 point size so this is where we have specified our font and we have stored it in simply font object then for drawing the object okay means for drawing the text on the shapes we are using the draw method present in the image draw module okay and we are putting the text over here okay txt now what is this txt this is the new layer so in this new layer we are going to draw okay so using this draw object we will draw whatever means suppose we have to draw a text so we'll draw a text okay now now we have to specify our size that where we want to put our text in our whole image so for that first of all we need the text width and the text height which we will write so for that first of all we need the original width and height so for that what we have done here we have taken this original image where we have opened our image and then we have using the size attribute and this will return two values the width and the height and we are storing it in separately width and height so now this width and height is our original image width and height now we will need the image means the height and the width of our text so for that we have used the method text b box that is that stand for text bounding box okay which is present in the draw module okay which is present in the image draw module okay so using the object draw 
we are specifying that text bounding box initially we are initializing the position to be 0 0 it means uh, the top left corner the starting of the any image okay so the, the top left corner then we are specifying that this text will be put there and the font of font will be this means it will be of Arial font and 40 points this one okay so we are specifying it so now when we have execute means this line will be get executed so then this text underscore b box this object will have four values and that four values will be inside a tuple so that four values will be left top right and bottom okay in this format only at the first place there will be left then top then right and bottom okay now we have got all the four values now we want to get the text width and the text height so for getting the text width what we can do we can subtract the right value with the left okay so then we can get the whole text width so that we are doing here we have taken the object text width and in that we have accessing the third value what we have because i have told you that left top right and bottom okay so indexing in tuple starts from zero so at zero well place means at zero index there is left then top and then at second there is right so from right we are subtracting the left so then we'll get the text width same we'll do with the height from bottom we will subtract the top so bottom is present at the last index that is the third index so from bottom we are subtracting the top the second index so we'll get the text height okay so now we have get the text width and text height now we have to put at the position where we want to print so we want to print it at the bottom right corner so for that what we'll do for that we'll take first the width okay means the for original width and the original height okay now from the original width we'll subtract the text width okay so for that what will happen when we'll do that so suppose our uh suppose our original width is suppose if it is 100 and our text width is 20 so what will happen from 100 20 will get subtracted okay let me show you so from 100 20 will be subtracted okay so you will get 80 and then again we are doing minus 10 pixels so your value will be 70 okay and this 70 value will be at the bottom right corner okay and with 10 space means we want that this text width should get subtracted and one and we should get one means 10 extra values mean 10 extra pixels okay from the edge so that's why we are, we are subtracting minus 10 then same thing we are doing with the height okay we are taking the total height and from the total height we are minusing means we are subtracting the text height okay in addition we are uh, subtracting 10 pixels more so that we can get more 10 pixels from the edge okay now in this we are specifying the position of our uh, where we want to put our water text image okay then now it's time we have everything we have the font we have the text okay means we have the new layer we have the original layer we have the position also okay so now we can put it so for that we are using the text method okay this method is going to put the text so we are first specifying the position then the watermark text okay and then we are specifying a color okay that is 000 128 it is in rgba format red green blue and alpha format so this color will be a semi-transparent black color obviously 128 is the alpha value for the transparency which we have given and in the font we are specifying this font only okay now in the next line if you'll see what we are doing what i have told you we have created an extra layer txt and in this extra layer we are drawing it so now we have to combine the original image and the this new layer okay so we have to combine both so for combining it there is a method that is called as alpha underscore composite okay so this method so this method combines the original image and the transparent watermark layer okay by keeping the transparency settings okay so it will not going to remove the transparency settings which we have made it will keep that also okay but it will combine the two layers okay the newly created layer with the original layer so that's why that's why we have taken object watermarked okay it is present in the image 
module we are using the function alpha underscore composite we are putting the original layer and the new layer which we have created okay so now this line will combine it then we are using the show method to show so this will be shown using the windows media player and then now we want to save it but we cannot save it in rgba format in red green blue in red green blue and alpha format so for saving it we have to again convert it into a red green blue format only so before saving it as you can see i have converted into a red green blue format and then i am saving it okay and i'm saving it the image output path and in a jpg format okay now i'm calling the function with the path where i put my image and then with the at the second place i'm giving the path where i want to put save that image and then the text i want to uh, give a text clcoding.com okay so before executing it i want to show you that what is the image and how it looks so this is the image and at this place the watermark text will be printed okay now let's execute the code okay so it just asks to wait yeah so now you can see you got your text over here okay clcoding.com now let's go and check that our file has been created or not so as you can come to this uh, path where i've saved it so you will see that the file has also been created okay with the name cloutput.jpg which we have given so this is it this is how you can create or you can put a watermark text on any image you want okay and you can save it in a jpg format so this is the way how you can do it the main thing is that you have to specify the position okay and then you have to combine the original image with the new layer new layer okay so these are the main things which you can do so i hope you like this video and this video will uh, i hope that this video will be very helpful for you guys so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video